Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Oh, hi, Carlos. Good evening. How are you doing? Sorry? We don't hear you. Check the, the audio. Hello, Carla. Maria. Hello. Hello, <laughs> teacher. Hello, sorry, I say Carla and I have the two Carlas connected. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. How are you, Carla Maria? And how are you, Carla Raquel? Fine, teacher. Oh, very good. That's nice. And you, Carla Raquel, how are you doing? I'm fine, teacher. Very good. Good to see you again. Hello, Hector. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you. How about you? Um, how bad. about you? Not bad. Not bad. I'm fine. Nice. Very good. Hello, <laughs> Santos. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good. I'm good. Oh, nice. Very good. Thank you. Joy. Hi, Lucy. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing fine. Oh, very good. Give me a second. Deme un segundo. Give me a second, please. I'm sorry. The thing is, my, my kiddo was alone out there. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, so um, I was asking Lucy, right? I'm sorry, Lucy. All right, very good. Y aparte de eso, se fueron ahorita, salieron y mi mascota está haciendo un gran ruido ahí. I'm sorry about that. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, but anyways, let's start. Okay. Uh, so we are about to start uh, with the class, and well, we are about to start with the attendance too. And I have something for today, right? Tenemos algo pendiente para hoy, ¿verdad? We have something for today, all right? ¿Qué tenemos para hoy? What do we have for today? Me oigo, teacher. Sorry? Ahora Te sí. oye. Yes. Okay. Ahora sí. Okay. Um, so we have something for today. Tenemos algo para hoy, ¿verdad? Y van a hacer una conversación, yes? Déjenme yes. ir a callar la mascota. Give me a second. Deme un segundo, lo siento. I'm sorry. Están asesinando a mascotas. Por Poppy. Yo también tengo los míos que están ladrando. Mis mascotas. Yo los voy a callar también. La bestia, ¿verdad? ¿Qué está pasando? Que todos los perritos están ladrando al mismo tiempo. ¿Será una señal? Yo creo que sí. Creo que va a haber un terremoto hoy. Quizás. Lo siento, disculpen, disculpen, lo siento. No, no, no maté a la mascota, ok. Quieren killers. I'm sorry about that. Okay, uh, solo la saqué por ahí porque estaba haciendo mucho ruido. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, so let's start uh, with the class then. Uh, just reviewing, solo repasando, just reviewing. Um, so yesterday, do you remember what we studied yesterday? What did you study yesterday? Y luego vemos lo de la conversación. We check about the, the, the conversation later, okay? So but what did you study yesterday? 
past of B and simple past. That's right. We studied the past of B and the simple past, but we studied positive or negative. Positive and negative. Mm -hmm. Yesterday. No, yesterday. Not Friday. Yesterday. Negative. Ah, we studied negative, okay? On Friday, we studied the past tense of B, positive and negative, right? Yes? And yesterday, I mean, positive, sorry. And yesterday, we studied the past of B and the simple past, negative, okay? So, um, for example, when I say, uh, I wasn't, I wasn't in class yesterday. Or I can say, ¿Quién no estuvo en clase ayer de lo que están acá? Todos estuvieron, right? Oh, Majo, I can say. Okay, I can say, Majo wasn't in class yesterday, all right? So it's negative, no estuvo en clase ayer, all right? It's only one example, Majo, es solo un ejemplo, it's only one example, okay? And, or, or I can say, let me see, ¿Quién más no estuvo? Who else wasn't in class? Solo ella, solo ella. Ah, Elsie, Elsie, yeah. right? So in plural, I can say, Majo and Elsie weren't. Recuerdan, para plural, we say we, were. In negative, weren't. So I say, Majo and Elsie weren't in class yesterday. Weren't for plural, okay? If this is just review, es solo para repasar un poquito, all right? And in the past, the verb is in present and we use didn't. Y en el pasado simple, okay, que siempre pasado, pero para otros verbos, for other verbs, usamos el didn't y el verbo va en presente, and the verb is in present. For example, uh, I didn't, I didn't attend class yesterday. Yo no asistí a clase ayer. I didn't attend. Attend is in present, right? El verbo va en presente, okay? I didn't attend class yesterday. Or you can say, um, I didn't work yesterday. I didn't buy coffee yesterday. I didn't check my email yesterday. I didn't visit my mom the last week. I didn't go to La Pizza on the weekend. Okay, so you use didn't for the negative in the past. Para el pasado negativo usamos didn't con el verbo en presente, okay? Yeah, this is just review, solo para recordar, just to remember a little bit, okay? So do you still have any question about the past? ¿Tienen, aún tienen alguna pregunta acerca del pasado? Pueden preguntar ahorita. Either positive or negative, okay? Ya sea positivo o negativo. Either positive or negative. So you can ask in this moment. Pueden preguntar en ese momento si tienen alguna duda. No? Everything is clear. Yes. No, teacher. Ya sabes. Uh, la verdad yo me, me confundo. No sé en qué momento eh, utilizar di, diren, diren o, o por ejemplo el, el wasen o, 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 o were. El, ok, yeah. el wasn't, recuerden, ok, el famoso verbo to be. El verbo to be significa ser o estar. En pasado, yo era o yo estaba. Ese es el significado. Cuando yo quiero decir yo era o yo estaba en pasado, digo I was. Oh. Si, yo quiero decir, si yo quiero decir ella era o ella estaba, she was. Él era o él oh. estaba, he was. Ok, nosotros okay. éramos o nosotros estábamos, we were. You were, okay. ustedes eran, ustedes estaban, ¿ok? Y en el negativo, okay. nosotros no éramos o nosotros no estábamos en casa, we weren't. Wow, okay, yo no teacher. era o yo no estaba, I wasn't, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Es solo un significado, pero en cambio para de ahí el, el... Cuando usamos el diren es para cualquier otro verbo, que no sea was o were, ¿ok? No, ok, teacher. Thank yeah. you. All right, no problem. Any other question? Es bueno que hagan esas preguntas porque a veces nos quedamos con estas pequeñas dudas y después vamos, seguimos con eso, ¿verdad? I like it. Thank you, Santos. Thank you very much. So, do you have any other... ¿Cómo, cómo fue, teacher? El diren era cuando no se usaba el... ¿Qué dijo? Ahí, ahí el, me, me... el diren es para cualquier otro verbo que no sea was y que no sea were. Ah, yeah, Ajá. ok. Yes. Excepto para el can, ¿verdad? Que es otro tema, porque el can en el pasado es could. Son verbos irregulares, ¿ok? In the positive, right? Ok, very good. So, any other question? No questions? No? 
This is just to review, okay? Solo para repasar un poquito. It's just to review a little bit. Okay, so um, yesterday uh, I assigned homework, right? And the homework was to write a conversation, yeah? And I said that today uh, you were going to have a space to present your conversation to the class, okay? ¿Cuántos hicieron la conversación? How many of you did the conversation? Les abro el espacio para compartir pantalla y me avisan quién va a compartir primero la conversación para que la revisemos. So we check it together. Sure. Yes? Eh, yo no la he terminado. La tengo a, a medias. Ok. All right, no problem. Anybody who finished? ¿Alguien que terminó? Anyone who finished? No? Teacher. Yes, Ellen Nielsen? Uh, I won't be able to work tonight. Okay. Night. Uh, I just. Okay. Okay, Thank no you. problem. No problem. It's okay. Okay. All right. Nadia terminó la conversación? Nobody? Nobody finished the conversation? No? No, no teacher. No, teacher. Rafa. Uh, ¿En qué la hizo, Rafa? ¿En qué la escribió? En, 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 uh, en el folleto de la copia que nos sacamos nosotros. Ah, on the photocopy. Ok. So, yeah. uh, so Solo you... hice uh, uno, como tres párrafos después de, you... de lo que... Ok, can you, read it? Que... Ajá, can you read it for the class? ¿Puede leerla para la clase? Can you read it for the class? Ok, ok. Ok, let's listen to Rafa. Dice, good morning, I am Rafael Barrera from uh, LAB company. I am speaking, speaking to uh, um, I am sp 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 speaking to Spanish. This, good morning. Yes, she is speak, speaking this. this. The reason of this call is to know the living of satisfaction that you have while the last products, your box, box we, we use. Okay, the product is fine, but I did not get the products. Number uh, Larry, Larry, but I will send it to you to the morning at eight thirty. Ah, okay. If you do not come be three thirty, it return the to your warehouse. Okay, very good. It's uh, it's good. It's good, Rafa. Um, uh, just one thing. Okay. Uh, so the, the the problem is that the 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 customer didn't receive the product, right? Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you very much, Rafa. Uh, I think it was Hector, yes, or Carlos. I don't know. No sé si Hector o Carlos dijeron que habían comenzado. ¿Quién qué dijo? I confuse you. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, was it Hector or Carlos who started? Can I, can no, no, teacher. No le finalizado aún. Ah, pero do you have part of it? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Do you want to share what you have? Uh, I draw in my... On your notebook. Do you want to read for the class? Okay. What you have, lo que tienes. What you have, okay? Okay. Good morning. I'm technical assistant from Happy Computer Company. I am speaking to um, Gris. Good morning. Yes, she's speaking. The reason of this call is to know the level of satisfaction that you have with the last product you bought with us. Okay, the product is fine, but I need faster computer. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's fine. The end. Okay. 
Happy yeah. story. <laughs> yeah. All right. Very good. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. You're missing some information, but it's almost it's almost done. All right. Casi está terminada. It's almost done. Okay. Thank you very much for sharing. Uh, so, uh, quick question. Uh, nobody else finished? Nadie más ha terminado? Nobody else has finished? No? Yo intenté. Who? <laughs> ¿Quién? Who? Who? Yo? Carlos. Carlos. Okay. Uh, read what you have. Uh, uh, I read. Yes. Or you want to read or you want to share? Uh, I, I, I read. Okay, okay, go ahead. I want to read. Okay, okay go ahead. Uh, I invented the names. <laughs> All right, no problem, it's okay. Good morning, I'm Brandon from X Company. Uh, am I speaking to Jenny? Uh, good morning, yeah, she's speaking. The reason of the call is to to know the level of satisfaction satisfaction that you have with the last product you bought with us. Okay. Um, the product is fine, but the guitar is not so sonorous. Okay, but you can choose other guitar in our store. Sure? Yes, of course. So I will arrive tomorrow. You told me the guitar came with diapason. Yes, it's true. Tomorrow we'll give with the guitar. Okay, thanks. It's pretty good. Nice, it's excellent. All right, so you, you will change the guitar. <laughs> yes, all right, so the, the, just the pronunciation of the word um, is guitar, okay, guitar. Guitar, guitar uh, not guitar, guitar, okay? But the uh, rest is perfect, okay? Thank you very much, Carlos, for sharing. Okay, uh, anybody else who finished? Alguien más que haya terminado? Anybody else who, ha, who has finished? Me. All right, let's Lucy. listen. Lucy, ¿quiere compartir pantalla o, o la va a leer? Or you will read for the class? Just reading. Okay, let's listen to Lucy's conversation. Good morning, I'm Lucy from ABC Company. I'm speaking to Nelly. Good morning, yes, she's speaking. The reason of this call is to know the level of satisfaction that you have with the last product you bought with us. Okay, the product is fine, but I need more information about the warranty, if it's any problem. No, not a problem, we will send it to your, to your email. Thank you. Okay, simple and clear. Very good, Lucy. That's excellent. That was pretty good. Thank you very much. Uh, all right. Thank you. Anybody else who wants to share? Alguien más que quiera compartir? Anybody else who wants to share? A la one, a la two, a la three. No one else, right? Okay. Thank you very much uh, for the people who shared. Thank you very much. And if you didn't finish, don't worry. I know you are busy people and you work every day. All right, no problem, it's okay. Don't worry if you didn't finish. No se preocupen si no terminaron. I know you are very busy every day. Okay, uh, thank you for the ones who finished. Okay, gracias eh, para los que terminaron. Thank you for the ones who finished. Okay, uh, so let's go to uh, the first activity for today. And in the first activity for today, uh, we have this uh, question, okay? The question is, what questions do you generally, like in general, uh, what questions do you generally ask a customer to confirm information you know? Do you want to confirm some information you know? So what questions do you ask generally? All right. ¿Qué preguntas hacen generalmente a los clientes para confirmar información que ya saben? It's just to confirm the information. So what questions do you ask? ¿Qué preguntas les hacen? So write at least three questions you ask. For example, it could be, uh, can you tell me your name? You know the name, but you ask the name again, right? Can you tell me your name, for example? Or maybe, when did you buy the product? When did you buy the product? I don't know. Okay, write three questions that you ask to your customers to confirm information you know, all right? Take like five minutes for this. Three questions, three questions only, all right? No more, two or three.
teacher. En este Cam caso, dice que sería este, la, las preguntas más frecuentes que le hacen los clientes. ¿O cómo fue no, que no, 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 no. The, the question is, ¿qué preguntas? Ok, tú haces generalmente a tus clientes o a, los, a un cliente para confirmar información que tú ya conoces o que tú ya sabes. Solo es para confirmar la información. And I gave you some examples, right? Le di algunos ejemplos, como, can you tell me your name, for example? Tal vez ya saben okay. el nombre, pero solo quieren confirmar. Can you tell me your name? Or, okay. how much was the product? ¿Cuánto costaba el producto? How much was the product made? All right? It's just to confirm. Or could you give me your ID number? Okay. The order number, for example, could you give me the order number? The number of the order? Okay. I don't know what questions you ask to your customers, okay? To confirm information, of course. Teacher, en este caso se puede poner always I take some telephone number. Yeah. Como son datos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This information you know, right? But you want to confirm this information. Okay.
Okay, uh, let's see. Well, just share the questions you have, okay? If you haven't finished, no problem. Sin man terminado, no hay problema. Just share what you have. Comparten lo que tienen, okay? Just share what you have. Okay, let's start then. Okay, just share. If you have one question, share your question. Okay, if you have two questions, share your two questions. In case you have three questions, share your three questions. Okay, no problem. Just share what you have. Compartan lo que tienen. Okay, share what you have. Okay, let's see. Uh, Carla Maria, tell me, uh, who do you want to listen to? A quien quiere escuchar? Who do you want to listen to from your classmates? Ah, yo creo que yo iba a decir las mías. No, no. Okay. Ah. Somebody you want to listen. Eh, este, Santos. All right. Let's listen to Santos. Santos, what questions do you generally ask a customer to confirm information you know? The microphone, Santos, turn on the microphone. Okay, teacher. What, what product did you, did you buy yesterday? Okay, perfect. Um, can you give me number cell phone? Okay. Uh, oh, what, what product, um, what product do you like? All right. Mm, okay, maybe in the last one is, is not to confirm, somehow to confirm information, okay? And on the second, you say cell phone number, not number cell phone, cell phone number, okay? Oh, okay. All right, thank you very much, Santos. So Santos, tell me, uh, who do you want to listen to? Um, who do you want to listen to from your classmates? Maho. You want to listen to Maho, all right. Yes. Maho, what questions do you generally ask a customer to confirm information you know? Good evening. Good evening. Um, uh, only two questions. Okay, read. Uh, and the first is, can you repeat, can you repeat cell phone number, please? All right. And number two, excuse me, sir, could you tell me your full name? All right, that's perfect. Could you tell me your full name? Okay, it's excellent. Thank you very much, Maho. Okay, Maho, tell me a name of a person you want to listen to. Uh, Carla Maria, no sé si está All right, Carla Maria. All right, Carla Maria. You will have to choose another person later. Okay, Carla okay. Maria. Uh, the question is, what questions do you generally ask a customer to confirm information you know? And can you give me the cell phone number? Okay. Uh, can you give me the name of your business executive? And can you tell me the name of the agency where you were trading? Can you repeat the last one, please? Can you tell me the name of the agency? Agency? Uh -huh. agency, agency, where, agency. Uh -huh. agency where you were traded. All right, where you were traded. Uh -huh, traded. All right, excellent. It's very good, it's excellent. Thank you very much, Carla Maria. Uh, three questions, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Choose another person, please. Um, uh, Irma. All right, Irma, are you ready? Hi, Irma. Are you ready, Irma? Está Lisa? We don't hear you. No se le escucha. We don't hear you. 
Creo que tienen problemas de audio, Irma. Choose another person in the meantime. Carla María. Eh, Elsie. All right, let's listen to Elsie. Are you ready, Elsie? Um, okay. With home, I, I have the pleasure. Okay, with um, whom I have the pleasure, all right? What I can help, what is your, per, what is your problem? Okay. Only, um, maybe what is, may, the idea is to ask questions to confirm information, right? And when you ask what is your problem, uh, you don't want to confirm information. Maybe you want to know something, okay? But the question is okay, uh, all right, Elsie? Thank you okay. very much. Uh, Elsie, can you select okay. a classmate, please? Um... Javier, no sé si está por ahí. Are you, I think he's just getting connected. Choose another person, right, Javier? Yes, teacher. Yes, choose no, another person. No, lo siento. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Select eh, another veamos. person. Cristina. Are you ready, Cristina? Okay. When, okay. Can, uh, when can I meet with you? All right. When could you have the document signed? All right. What day will the employee later be paid? Okay, very good. Excellent. So, but these questions are like mostly for co-workers somehow, okay? But it's okay, it's, it's good, okay? Thank you very much, Christina. And Christina, select the last classmate, el último compañero, the last classmate, please. <laughs> Uh, Javier, no, I think Javier is not ready. Another classmate. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Could be Wendy. Hazel Carla. Sarai. Okay, Hazel. Are you there, Hazel? Are you ready? Yes, teacher, solo que no hice la actividad. Okay, another classmate, please, Cristina. Teacher, si quiere la digo yo. All right, Wendy, thank you very much for volunteering. Always I live at home. Uh, I hit always here's his menu. No sé cómo se, dir se diría mínimo. I, I have minimum, 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 minimum. yeah, minimum y sueldo sería wage, 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 uh -huh. okay, wage. I don't know, mm -hmm. y luego, uh, always I take some more telephone numbers, all right, what's your telephone number, very good, maybe for the wage is for a co-worker, right, not to confirm information of a customer, okay, thank you, Wendy, thank you very much for sharing, and thank you everybody because I know everybody completed the, the, the activity, okay? So thank you very much. So everybody go to reactions and give a reaction to uh, the people who participated. Vamos a dar una reacción a los que participaron. Go and give a reaction to your classmates. Thank you for your participation. Okay, and let's go to the next activity. So look. In the next activity, uh, we have some information, okay? This is on page number 33. Esto está en la página 33, page number 33, okay? So here we have some information about Mrs. Mendoza and Mr. Torres, okay? Basically, uh, they are reporting a problem, right? So we have two questions. Question number one is, did Ms. Mrs. Mendoza have a problem with a method of payment? You say yes or no, right? Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? You say, yes, he did or no, he didn't, okay? So please, read the two paragraphs and answer the two questions. Lean los dos párrafos y contestan las dos preguntas, okay? Go ahead. By now, only read an answer, okay? We will check the vocabulary in a moment, okay?
Okay, uh, let's check quickly. Remember, you are not checking new vocabulary, okay? You are just trying to answer the two questions, right? Solo están intentando contestar las dos preguntas. You are just trying to answer the two questions, okay? So question number one, did Mrs. Mendoza have a problem with a method of payment? Yes, she did or no, she didn't. What do you think? Yes, yes, she did. Yes, she did, right? Yes, she did. She had a problem with a method of payment. What was the problem? With the payroll system. Con el sistema de planillas. With the payroll system. Okay, thank you very much. Question number two. Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? No. No, no right? No, no, he didn't. Who did he call? A quien llamó? Who did he call? The assistance. Ah, he called for assistance. A mechanic, right? A mechanic. All right. It's excellent. Thank you very much. You only needed to say yes or no, right? Good. So in this moment, in this moment, read the information again about Mrs. Mendoza and Mr. Torres and try to identify the new vocabulary. Okay. And check the new vocabulary in your dictionary. Okay. Pueden usar el diccionario de word reference, el que les envié la vez pasada. Okay. So check the new vocabulary in your dictionary. Take like four minutes to check. Tomen alrededor de cuatro o cinco minutos para revisar y luego compartimos, and then we share, okay? No les pasé asistencia al principio, ¿verdad? Ahora te estoy cayendo por, por lo del desorden de la mascota de todo. All right, I'm sorry. Ya les voy a pasar asistencia. Hold fast with the attendance in a moment. So check new vocabulary, please. Mientras están trabajando, les pasaré asistencia ahorita. Ok, I'll pass you the attendance quick. Uh, Carlos? I'm here. Cloud, um, Cristina? Present. Very good. Daniel? Present. Doris? Ellen Ison? Ah, uh, he's listening, I think, right? Elsie? Present, teacher. Ok, Hazel? Present. Hector. Present, teacher. Irma. Javier. Present, teacher. Johnny. Mauricio. Present, teacher. Lucy. Present. Majo. Present, teacher. Rafa. Present teacher. Santos. Present teacher. Ulises. Wendy. I am here. Carla Maria. Present. Carla Raquel. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. All right, continue checking vocabulary, please.
Okay, uh, let's check the new vocabulary you found, okay? Let's go first uh, to, um, let me see. Let's go to Mrs. Mendoza. Uh, what new vocabulary did you find in Mrs. Mendoza? Payroll. Payroll is correct. What is payroll? Nomina. Nomina or planilla, right? That is a payroll, okay? Payroll is nomina or planilla. Very good. Thank you, Carla Maria. So do we have more new vocabulary here? Evan Charger. Yeah. Sorry? He even charged me. Ah, he even charged me, right? He even charged me. All right. What is charge? What is he even charged me? He even is incluso. Okay. El incluso me cobró. He even charged me. All right. Charge is cobrar. About money, right? About money. Okay. So he even charged me. El incluso me cobró. All right. For a piece he broke. So uh, do, do you have more vocabulary for Mrs. Mendoza? Besides. Oh, besides all that, okay? Besides all that, what is that? ¿Qué es eso? What is that? Además de todo esto. Además o aparte de todo eso. Además o aparte de besides, all right? Besides all that. Además o aparte de todo eso. All right. What else? Payroll. Payroll. We have payroll. Ya la subrayamos acá. Payroll. Okay. Is, is planilla or nómina? What else? Only that? Only that? Yes, right. Okay, now let's go to Mr. Torres. So what new vocabulary do you have in Mr. Torres? No new vocabulary? What is engine? Motor. 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 Engine is motor, all right? What is kind? He was really kind. Amable. Amable, educado. Very good. Um, quick to fix. What is, he was quick to fix. He was quick to rápido fix. para reparar. Ah, él fue rápido para reparar, okay? He was quick to fix. That's right. He was quick to fix. Él fue rápido para reparar. He was quick to fix. All right. So basically that's right. I started the engine, all right? And everything was perfect. Very good. Now I will erase this. Now, I want you to tell me, what verbs are in past for Mrs. Mendoza? For Mrs. Mendoza, tell me the verbs in past. Dígame los verbos que están en pasado para Mrs. Mendoza. Sold. Uh, sold is one, is correct. Sold. Charged. Charged. Uh, what else? Charged. Broke. Broke, yeah. Uh. Ha, 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 that's right. I had a problem. Is correct. Gabe. Okay. Gabe. Gabe is correct. Gabe. Gabe is in past. Pass of give. Came. Came Parker. is correct. Uh, came. Okay. He came, came very late. He came very late. What forgot. else? Forgot. Forgot is correct. Forgot. I forgot. You all be there. I forgot. Didn't say right. Didn't say because it's in negative, but it's in past, all right? Didn't say. Él no dijo. Okay, he didn't say. And came again here. We have came twice. Didn't understand. No entendió. No entendí, sorry, but I didn't understand it. Pero no lo entendí. I didn't understand it. Very good. Mr. Torres, what verbs do you have in past for Mr. Torres? I had cold. Had again. What else? Cold. Cold, exactly. Was. Was. Was again. Was. What else? Was gave. again. Give. Gave. Gave. It's gave. gave. The past is gave. gave. Okay. Gave. Gave. Gave again. Start. Start. Started. Okay. Or started. 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 
Was perfect. Was again, was perfect. Okay, so we have different verbs in the past, right? And you can tell me, teacher, pero que no le ponemos CD cuando está en pasado. Eh, cuando les expliqué el tema del pasado en positivo, les expliqué que, les expliqué que cuando hay verbos irregulares, su forma en pasado cambia, ¿verdad? Like in this case, for example, came. The present, the present form of came is come. Okay, like come here is in present, okay? Or gave, for example. What is the present, the present form of gave? Is give, right? Dar, give. Okay, so gave is in past. The present form of forget, forgot, sorry, is forget. The present form of had is have or has, have or has, okay? And then the present form of was is be, right? Or am, tal vez. Am or is. Am or is is the present form of was, okay? And then basically that's it. Started, start and so on, okay? For solved, it's solved, sin de, la forma presente. Charged, sería charge, with no D, right, sin de. Broke, the present is break, okay? And basically that's it, okay? Uh, very good, this is just to, uh, just to get familiarized with the verbs in past, okay? Solo es para familiarizarse un poquito con los verbos en pasado. Okay, uh, so in, in this moment, uh, we will continue with the two paragraphs. But this time, esta vez, this time, I will pronounce the paragraphs. And then, y luego, and then, I will give you around six minutes. Six minutes to practice the pronunciation of the paragraphs, okay? Alone, solitos lo van a hacer. No vamos a ir a, a sesiones de grupos por el problema que tenemos, ya saben, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a pronunciar y van a practicar solitos por un momento y luego voy a elegir algunos para que lo hagan en frente de la clase, ¿ok? Right? But first, listen to the pronunciation. And if necessary, take notes about vocabulary that is difficult for you to pronounce, ¿ok? Take notes about vocabulary that is difficult for you to pronounce, ¿all right? So please, listen to the pronunciation of the paragraphs. Se lo voy a pronunciar dos veces cada uno, twice each. So please listen carefully. Let's start with the first one. Mrs. Mendoza, I had a problem with the payroll system, but a technician came to help me with it. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. Listen again. I had, lo voy a hacer más lento. No, no, voy a tratar de no conectar sonidos para que escuchen mejor, okay? I had a problem with the payroll system. But a technician came to help me with it. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me for a piece he broke. <clears throat> he gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. Mr. Torres, I had a problem with the car's engine, so I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast, and he was quick to fix my car's problem too. He gave me details about the incident and he gave me a report of it. Then I started the engine and everything was perfect. Listen again, please. <clears throat> I had a problem with the car's engine. So I called for assistance. 
the mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast. And he was quick to fix my car's problem too. He gave me details about the incident and he gave me a report of it. Then I started the engine and everything was perfect. Okay, page number 33, pero se lo voy a dejar así para estarlo viendo pronunciar, para que lo hagan de la pantalla, okay? So I will give you like five minutes to pronounce. Le voy a dar como cinco o seis minutos para que lo repitan, para que lo practiquen ahorita, for you to practice, okay? Pero quiero verlos moviendo su boca, articulando los sonidos, pero con el micrófono apagado, with the microphone off, okay? ¿De acuerdo? Voy a estar viendo acá, supervisando que lo estén haciendo para que practiquen. Y luego vamos a elegir algunos para que compartan. We will choose some people to share, okay? So take six minutes, five or six minutes to practice, and then you share. De ser posible, mientras practican, tomen nota de las palabras que se les dificulta pronunciar para que las repitamos todos despuesito, ¿ok? If necessary.
Okay, uh, take one more minute, okay? One more minute, and then we share. Okay, uh, time is over. All right, uh, I will uh, make it disappear for a moment. And well, here I have the list. Uh, here I have the list of your names, okay? In, all, in order, okay, as you appear on the list, okay? Uh, so please, um, let me see. Let me see, Javier, can you tell me six numbers from one to 22? Six numbers from one to 22. Uh, six numbers. Number, six numbers. Six. Yeah, six ah, numbers. numbers. Yeah. No, numbers. numbers. From one to 22. Ah, okay. Uno 22 okay. From one to 22. Okay. Yeah. Uh, number five. All right. Uh, 12. Yeah. 21. Yeah. Fifteen. Yeah. Two more. Uh, one. Yeah. Eighteen. And eighteen. Let me see. Okay. Just change two numbers. Dos más porque hay dos que no están. I have two people are not here. Two more numbers. Uh, number eight. Eight. Yeah, eight. And one and more. Number 12. Number 12. No, you said number 12. Another number. Uh, 20. Number 20. OK. Another yeah. number. <laughs> and number four. Let me see, yes, number four. Okay, so I have the, the people here who are going to participate in this activity, okay? Uh, we will listen to Carlos is number one. Number four is Daniel. Uh, number eight is Hazel. Number 15 is Majo. Number uh, 18 is Ulysses. And number 21 is Carla Maria. These are the people who will participate, okay? So, uh let me let, let me tell you how you will participate in this activity let's see we start with carlos okay carlos you will pronounce mrs mendoza's paragraph okay so everybody please listen to carlos okay mrs mendoza i have a problem with the payroll system but a technician came to help me with it he solved it but he didn't say anything he even charged me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. Awesome, that's very good. It's excellent, all right? It's very good, Carlos. Thank you very much. Now let's listen to Daniel. Are you ready, Daniel? Yes. Mr. Torres. Okay. I have a problem with the car's engine. So I call, I call for assistant the mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast. And he was quick too. 
fix my car problem too. He gave me the tie of all the incident and he gave me a report of it. Then I started the engine and everything was perfect. Okay, that's very good. Thank you very much, Daniel. And now let's listen to Hazel. Are you ready, Hazel? Yes, teacher. Mrs. Mendoza. Okay. I had a problem with the payroll system, but a technician came to help with me with it. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that the came be very late. That's excellent. Thank you very much, Hazel. And now let's listen to, 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 let me see. Let me see who's next. Oh my goodness. Maho. Mr. Torres Maho. Maho. Okay. I had a problem with the car's engine. So I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast. And he was quick to fix my car problem too. He gave me details about the incident and he gave me a report of it. Then I started the engine engines and everything was perfect. Excellent, thank you very much, Maho. Uh, for this, the pronunciation is engine. For Maho and everybody, okay? Engine, 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 no, right? It's engine, okay? And the other one is this one. This is not called, it's cold. So I called for as cold, cold with a d at the end, cold. So I called for assistance, okay? So I called for assistance. Okay, thank you very much, Maho. Uh, let's listen to the next participant. Ulysses, are you ready? Are you there? I think Ulysses is not present, right? No? No, right, he's not present. Okay, uh, let me see. Let's listen then to Carla Maria, she's next. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Mendoza, Carla Maria. Okay. I had a problem with the payroll system, but a technician came to help me with it. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even shared, shared me for a piece of, he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand. Beside all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. Very good. That's excellent. Thank you very much. Only for this, he even charged. Charge. He even charged me. Okay. okay, charged me. All right. He even charged me. Thank you, Carla Maria. Well, we're missing one. I said six, right? Javier, tell me another number because Ulysses is not here. Hello, uh, Javier. Number uh, 14. 14. Number 14 is Lucy. All right. Lucy, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Mr. Torres. Okay. I had a problem with the car's engine, so I called for assistance. The, the mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast, and he was quick to fix my, fix my car's problem, too. He gave me details about the incident, and he gave me a report of it. Then I started to the engine, and everything was perfect. That's excellent. Thank you very much, Lucy. That's just perfect, okay? Thank you for your participation. And everybody, for the six participations, thank you very much. Okay, so please, everybody, go to reaction and give a reaction to your classmates who pronounce the two paragraphs. Okay. 
Go and give a reaction to your classmates, please. Okay. Vamos a dar una reacción a los compañeros. Go give a reaction to your classmates. And I have a question for you all. All right. I have a question for you all. Uh, the question is, well, in, in the in the in, in the past topics, uh, in the past topics, we studied the simple past, positive and negative, right? Yeah, positive and negative. But how do you make questions in the past? How do you make questions in the past? <clears throat> Any idea? How do you make questions in the past? Any idea? You said did? That's right, Hector. We use did, all right? We use did to make questions in the past. For example, uh, did you, what, did you go to the doctor yesterday? Or let me see, uh, did you call uh, the clients um, last week? Uh, did you buy the product? Did you, all right, did. So we use did for questions, okay? So let's study that in detail. Estudiamos eso en detalle. Let's study that in detail. And we have some examples for that, okay. On page number 34, we have these, uh, these examples about the, about the past, right? Questions, okay? For example, for example, uh, let me see, um, Hector, can you read example number one, please? Well, read the for examples. Lea los cuatro ejemplos. Read the for examples, please. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Did you call a, a mechanic to check your car? Continue. Did she pay? Did she pay extra money? Did we recite a report? Did they sing the letter? The letter. The letter. Thank you very much. Okay, so I, I was telling you, right? In uh, for questions in past, we use did, right? All the questions start. We did. Todas las preguntas empiezan con did en pasado. They start with did. And as you can see, the verb is in present. El verbo siempre va en presente. Bernardo, pero estamos hablando en pasado. ¿Cómo es eso que el verbo va en presente en la pregunta? Ah, again, nuevamente. El did hace el pasado. Así que el verbo no debe ir en pasado. Because we have did. Porque tenemos el did. All right? So in Spanish, did you call a mechanic to check your car? Llamaste un mecánico para revisar tu carro? So did you call, all right? So it's in past. Did makes the past, the question specifically, okay? And then we have the answers. Luego tenemos las respuestas, okay? Uh, let's see. Question number one is, did you call a mechanic to check your car? You answer in positive, yes, I did. And in negative, no, I didn't. Number two, did she pay extra money? Pagó ella dinero extra? Yes, she did. Or no, she didn't for a negative answer. Number three, did we receive a report? Yes, we did in positive. No, we didn't in negative, negative answer. And the last one, did they sign the letter? Firmaron la carta, did they sign the letter? Yes, they did. In positive, negative answer, no, they didn't. So do you have any question? Tienen alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? No? Remember, the verb is in present. Recuerden que el verbo va en presente. El did hace el pasado en la pregunta. Did makes the past in the question. Okay? Any question? Or you are processing Entonces, the en ese caso, digamos, este, podría decir, did you cook the orange? Did you? <laughs> did you cut the orange? Yes, it's correct. Did you cut the you? oranges? Mm -hmm. It's correct. Uh -huh. Cortaste las Entonces, naranjas. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Entonces, yeah. en ese caso, sí. El, así como es este, el verbo siempre en presente y el did exactly. iría primero. 
Always, siempre. siempre. Always. No solo en este caso, siempre. En pasado la pregunta siempre empieza con did y el verbo va en presente. The verb is in present. Mm -hmm. Okay. Always. Okay. Thank you. All right. Any other question? No. Uh, tal vez aquí lo que no aparece y es necesario mencionar es que hemos estado estudiando la forma positiva y negativa del verbo to be, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo hacer preguntas con el verbo to be? Lo que hacemos en el verbo to be es que pasamos el was y el where al principio. Por ejemplo, for example, uh, was she happy? Estaba ella feliz. Was she happy? Paso el was al principio. O were you in class yesterday? Estuviste en clases ayer. Where you? So el where y el was pasan al principio para hacer las preguntas con el was y el where. ¿Ok? Were you in class yesterday? No decimos did you be, ¿verdad? No. What, were you in class yesterday? En este caso no usamos el did para empezar la pregunta. Usamos el was o el where. ¿Ok? Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Hector. Uh, when, when I use was and where, the verb is in the past or is same when you, I use did, the verb is in present. Was and was, where? Was and where are the verbs here? Was y where son los verbos acá. En, este, en pasado simple, ¿verdad? In simple past. ¿Okay? Oh, oh. Sí, no hay otro sí. verbo, okay, esos okay, son okay. los verbos. ¿Okay? Por ejemplo, okay. si yo digo, uh, Were you in class yesterday? Estuviste tú en clases ayer. Where es el verbo. Or, Was Carla mm -hmm. María in class yesterday? Estuvo Carla María en clases ayer. Was Carla María, right? So, was is the verb. Ese es el verbo. ¿Ya? Yeah? I get it. Thank you. All right. Sure. No problem. Thank you for asking. So any other question? No? All right. If you have no questions, then let's work a little bit. Trabajemos un poquito entonces. Very good. Page number 34. Página 34 si tienen la fotocopia del manual. ¿Qué van a hacer? What will you do? Aquí tienen unas respuestas. You have some answers, okay? So you will create the question for these answers. For example, number one, yes, I did. I sent the email. What can be the question? ¿Cuál puede ser la pregunta? Yes, I did. I sent the email. What can be the answer? The, the question, sorry. ¿Cuál puede ser la pregunta? Sorry. Did Was, you, did you send, you send did you the send email? It? Exactly. So the question is, sorry, did you... And in present, right? Send by in present in la pregunta, recuerden, send. And send in present is send. So did you send? The email will be the question. Esa sería la pregunta, okay? Did you send the email? Yes, I did. I sent the email, all right? So continue with the others. Continúen con las demás. Si no tienen fotocopia, háganlo en su cuaderno. Do it on your notebook, okay? Continuemos. Let's continue. Uh, so please, when you finish, go to reactions and raise your hands, okay? Cuando terminen, por favor, van a reacciones y levantan la mano, okay? Cuando la mayoría haya terminado, revisamos. When the, when the majority finish, finishes, we check, okay? Yeah. <clears throat>
Oh no, we didn't ever see the cook.
All right, in one minute, we check. Okay, uh, let's check. Let's see what you have, all right? Let's see what you have. Okay, let's see. I have some names here. So let's see, Rafael. Uh, what do you have in number two, Rafael? Uh, no, they didn't check the past case. Past case. Okay, so what, what is the question you have? ¿Qué pregunta escribió para esa respuesta? What question do you have? Mm. No didn't they check the purchase? Yeah, this is the answer. But you were supposed to write a question, right? Eh, se suponía que debían escribir una pregunta. You had to write a question for the answers. Uh, but yeah, yo me equivoqué, teacher. I'm sorry. Ah, okay, okay. No, no problem. It's okay. No problem. Uh, so let's listen then to uh, Carla Raquel. Carla Raquel, hello. I'm sorry. <laughs> la, la dos, ¿verdad, Ticha? Yes, number two. Eh, la pregunta que puse fue, did they yeah. check the packet? That's right, it's correct. Did they check the package, right? The packet. Mm. Like this? Yes, right. Did they check the package? No, they didn't. They didn't check the package. It's correct. That's the question. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Carla Raquel. Thank you. Now let's listen to, um, let me see, Javier, number three. What is the question you have? Uh, number three. Yes. Uh, did you turn her on again the car? Okay. So the question is, did you... Turn, turn on. Turn on again the car. The car again. The car again. Uh -huh. Yes, the car again. Just change the order. It's okay. So the question is, did you turn on the car again? It's excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go to number four. Let's listen to Elsie. Number four. Yes. 
Did we resign a copy of the receipt? All right. Did, did we receive a copy of the receipt? Okay, thank you very much, Elsie. Uh, do we have a different equation? Does anybody have a different equation? Alguien tiene una pregunta diferente? Maybe, did we never? Hmm. I, mm, but yeah, never is in the answer. In the question, I think it's not possible to put it, okay? Maybe uh, with a different pronoun. M maybe you could say, did you, right? Did you, you receive? Uh -huh. Did you, ustedes recibieron, did you receive a copy of the receipt? Okay. Uh, did you receive a copy of the receipt? Ustedes recibieron una copia del recibo? No, no la recibimos. No, we didn't. We never received a copy of the receipt. So the question is using you, right? Because of the answer. Okay. Okay. Then, okay. Yeah. Porque sería, ustedes recibieron una copia? No, nosotros no la recibimos, right? So that's the question is using you, right? So Elsie only changed we for you in the question, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. All right, no problem, thank you. And number five, any volunteer, algún voluntario? For number five, a volunteer for number five? Did he buy a new tire? Repeat it, please. Did he buy a new tire? Excellent. So the, the question is, did he buy a new tire? Five. It's very good. Okay, so the pressing of but is buy, right? So you say, did he buy a new tire? Okay, and that's the question we have. Thank you very much. Can you la respuesta who gave the answer? Me, Lucy. Lucy, okay. Thank you very much, Lucy. So this is how it looks. Así les quedaría entonces. This is how it looks, okay? Okay, thank you very much for helping me. Thank you. Let's go to the last activity. Oh my goodness, what did I do? Okay, let's go to the last activity for today. In the last activity for today, you will create a conversation again. Y esta no le va a quedar de tarea. Esta la van a hacer ahorita, okay? So you will create a conversation asking a customer about the last service he or she received with your company, all right? Ask questions using did to know if everything was provided, okay? For example, it could be a uh, good morning. Uh, I am calling from Siman, I don't know, okay? You, you can start like that. Good morning, I am calling from Siman. And then the customer says, good morning. Uh, and then I say, how are you? Fine, thank you. All right, uh, did you receive uh, the fridge? Okay, did you, did you, empezamos con la, pregun con la pregunta usando did. Did you receive the fridge you ordered? Oh, yes, I did, but I had a problem, puede decir el customer. Oh, what was the problem? Y empezamos haciendo preguntas con did o con was where. Yes? ¿De acuerdo? Talking about the service or the problem? All right. Aquí la idea es hacerle preguntas al cliente para practicar las preguntas en pasado. To practice questions in the past. Okay? About the product. Acerca de ese producto. About that product or service. Okay? ¿Se entiende? Easy, clear. ¿Se entiende más o menos lo que van a hacer? Yes. Yes. No. Since everybody is quiet, I imagine it's clear, right? Because everybody is quiet. Como todos están callados, yo infiero que está claro. I infer it's clear. Yes, right. So the idea is to ask questions to your to the customer, right? About the service he or she received, or about the product he or she bought. Okay. You, you can start like, I don't know, 
uh, you can say, uh, good morning, uh, this is Bernardo, and I am calling from Omnisport. Can I ask you some questions? And the customer says, oh, yes, of course. And then, Bernardo, did you receive uh, the, the watching machine to order or the microwave you order? Oh, yes, I did, customer. Yes, I did. Uh, but I didn't receive some parts. Did an agent call you? Okay, you see, haciendo preguntas con did, all right? Or con was aware. The idea is to practice questions in past, right? Okay. Oh, something important, algo importante. A mí me gustaría que la compartieran aquí. De ser posible, cuando terminen, le toman una foto y nos comparten la foto acá. Ok. Le voy, a, le voy a activar la opción de compartir pantalla para que compartan y revisemos juntos algunas tres conversaciones. Ok. Los que tienen computadora, los que están, ¿quiénes están trabajando en computadora? ¿Quiénes están trabajando en computadora ahorita? Ok. Carlos, ¿quién más? ¿Quién más está usando computadora para conectarse? Solo Carlos. Only Carlos. Bueno, Carlos la puede hacer en un documento de Word, entonces, o no sé. Y después nos comparte la pantalla nada más de su conversación para que la revisemos todos. So everybody checks together, ¿ok? Los demás la pueden hacer en su libreta o en notas o en WhatsApp, no sé. Y le toma, si lo hacen en su libreta, le toman una foto para que compartan la foto con nosotros y leerla juntos, ¿ok? ¿De acuerdo? La idea es que la proyecten aquí para el pleno. Mauricio, este día le corresponde la sesión uno a uno. A Lucy le corresponde mañana. A Majo el jueves. Y a Rafael el viernes. O oh, permítanme, creo que estoy confundido acá. Si sí, ayer le correspondía a Johnny, si no me equivoco. Este día a Mauricio. Mañana a Lucy, jueves a Majo y viernes a Rafa. Sí, estoy bien. I'm ok.
Uh, while you continue working, I will pass you the attendance, okay? Mientras están trabajando, les pasaré asistencia. I will pass you the attendance, okay? Carlos? Present teacher. Cristina? Present. Daniel? Present. Doris? Elenilson? Yes, right. Miss Present teacher. All right, Elsie? Present teacher. Hazel? Okay, just say present and continue working. We have three minutes. Hector? Present, teacher. Irma? Irma had problems, I think, with the, with the connection. Oh, yeah. I can see you, Irma. Javier? I am here, teacher. Johnny is connected, right? He's only listening. Mauricio? Lucy? Present teacher. All Present right. teacher. Majo? Present teacher. Okay, Rafa? Present teacher. Santos? Present teacher. Ulises? Wendy? I am here. Carla Maria? Present. And Carla Raquel? Present teacher. Okay. Okay, continue working. Continue. Tenemos dos minutos, so we have two minutes. Muy bien. Very good. Well, it's time, right? Ya es hora. Eh, no sé si hay alguien que ha terminado. Did anybody finish or nobody finished? Nadie terminó. Nobody finished? No? All right. Eh, bueno, creo que al menos si no la han terminado, ya la tienen bien avanzada, ¿verdad? La conversación. Eh, mañana sí, por favor, les pido que la tengan completa. Ya avanzaron. Creo que ya tienen la mayor parte de la conversación. Que la terminen para que nos compartan mañana y revisemos juntos, ¿ok? So we check together. Solo terminen lo que le falta y mañana comparten. Si la hacen en su cuaderno, le toman una foto y comparten la foto del texto, ¿de acuerdo? Y los que están en computadora, pues, ahí en Word, no sé en qué programa están trabajando, ¿ok? ¿De acuerdo? Y solo un recordatorio nada más, antes de que nos desconectemos. Recuerden que el día jueves terminamos semana. Ok, así que el día jueves, antes de la sesión, debe estar completa la sección número 3 de la plataforma. Ok, ¿de acuerdo? 
Día jueves debe estar completa la sesión número 3 de la plataforma, antes de la sesión. Teacher. Dígame, Carlos. Eso, eh, completar la, la sección 3 sería hasta la tarea 15. Ajá, toda, ajá, todas las tareas que aparecen en la sección 3. No he visto realmente cuántas tareas aparecen, pero son todas las que aparecen. Son cinco, si no me equivoco, de la sección okay. 3. Uh -huh. Ok, muy bien. Eh, ok, very good. Well, thank you, Dan, very much for connecting today. Gracias por conectarse. Goodbye. See you tomorrow and good night. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good Okay, <risa> Adelante, ese espacio es para es para ti, así que si tienes alguna duda o no sé, algo en lo que necesites ayuda respecto al idioma, aquí estamos. We're here. Okay. Sí, es que no sabía en qué consistía este esta sesión. <risa> es, eh, quizás vez. seguramente no estuviste presente en la sesión 1, en la primera parte. ¿O sí? Mm, sí, bueno, no me recuerdo, ahorita tengo. Ajá, sí, 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 que... prácticamente Ajá. es para aclarar dudas acerca de la, de, de la clase o de cualquier otro tema del inglés, algo que quieras saber del idioma, algo que quieras practicar, prácticamente para eso es la, la sesión. Bueno, yo al menos con lo que tengo, que sí considero que tengo un poquito más de problemas, es con la pronunciación. Dice. No sé si hay algún método o algo para mejorar eso. Porque sí, es donde me siento más y quizás también tiene mucho que ver el, el temor a equivocarse. Sí, definitivamente. Aunque en realidad quizás no solamente, no, no es eso. Eh, yo, yo creo que el, para practicar pronunciación hay diferentes formas de hacerlo, ¿verdad? Y una de las que mayormente funciona es a través de, a través de música en inglés. ¿okay? Al menos esa me funcionó a mí personalmente, ¿ok? Eh, ¿Qué era lo que yo hacía? Okay. Te, te comparto lo que a mí me funcionó, ¿verdad? Okay. Pero puede ser que a ti te funcione otra cosa. Eh, pero a mí lo que me funcionó fue canciones en inglés. Lo que hacía era que las escuchaba, tenía la letra, revisaba la letra. Eh, las cantaba, aunque, aunque no puedo cantar, pero las cantaba así en voz baja para, para practicar la pronunciación, por supuesto, ¿verdad? Y eso me ayudaba. E incluso me ayudaba en el vocabulario porque buscaba todas las palabras que no me sabía, me las aprendía y a medida me aprendía la canción, me aprendía el vocabulario también. Así que incrementaba mi vocabulario la misma vez también. Pero sí, la música es una buena manera. Es la mejor, Perfecto. de hecho, creo. La que mejor funciona. Porque a quien no le gusta la música. Who doesn't like music? Buen punto, pero quizás ahí tendría que ver algo, eh, el tipo de música, no sé. Sí, en mi caso, yo... Bueno, inconscientemente, quizás sin que nadie me lo dijera, eh, eh, lo hice con música clásica en inglés. Pero igual lo pueden hacer con música moderna, pero que no sea muy rápida, porque si no... Ah, exacto, porque muchas veces, o sea, puede ser música en inglés, pero si a veces en español no logramos cantar a esa velocidad, mucho menos en inglés cuando estamos... Correctamente. Viendo. Sí, yo creo que en el nivel que ustedes están ahorita, eh, en, en, pues se supone que todos están en, en básico, en el nivel que están ahorita, es de buscar canciones que son un poquito lentas, tal vez. La música moderna es bien difícil que sea lenta, en realidad. Es bien difícil, pero sí hay algunas que son bastante, que se pueden cantar, que son lentas. Pero si no, la música clásica. Ochentas, noventas. <risa> ah, vale, mejor época. <risa> Correctamente. Así es. Además de la música, ¿existe alguna plataforma o algo, teacher, donde uno pueda practicar quizás en pequeños ratos libres que uno tiene? Sí, realmente no sé si hay alguna app de pronunciación, solamente he buscado de vocabulario, no he buscado de pronunciación, pero puedo, puedo buscar a ver si hay alguna que pueda funcionar. Eh, tal vez no una app, sino sitios web. Hay muchos sitios web que tienen lecturas con pronunciación. Se puede practicar una técnica que se llama shadowing. 
El shadowing es como sombra, ¿ok? Shadow viene de sombra. Consiste en escuchar algo en inglés y leerlo. ¿Okay? Un párrafo, por ejemplo. Lo escucho, lo leo. Y a la misma vez, a medida voy escuchándolo varias veces, voy tratando de seguir la persona que lo está pronunciando y de hacerlo a la misma vez. Y voy comparando mi pronunciación con la pronunciación de la persona que lo está haciendo. Eso se llama shadowing. Hasta tal punto de que yo manejo la, la conversación o el párrafo o la lectura que estoy viendo, lo manejo bien y lo pronuncio igual que el speaker. Eso se llama shadowing y eso me funcionó a mí también. Eso ya lo hice cuando ya estaba un poquito más más avanzado, pero se puede hacer con cosas básicas, con conversaciones. En internet hay muchas conversaciones con pronunciación y YouTube incluso hoy en día se puede hacer con eso. Y también ayuda a la pronunciación. Ok. De ahí con la última duda que sí todavía me quedó es con lo de las fechas. Uh -huh. Con lo de las fechas, al menos yo en mi trabajo, lo que son las fechas yo las manejo primero mes y después día. Allí me quedó la confusión, no sé si recuerda de que consulté por eso y aún estoy ahí con esa duda porque yo ya creo... es un vacío grande. Ok, yo creo que en este caso, let, let me check, creo que hay varias formas de, de hacerlo. Ok, but let me, let me check here. Let me check, ok, voy a revisar ahorita. Ok, let me check here. Let me check the, let me investigate because I don't want to lie to you. I, I am investigating here because I don't want to lie to you. So okay. it says, um, primero decimos el día de la semana. Okay, first we say the day, the month, and the year. Day, month, and year. Día, mes, y año. No sé si así es que aparece en el formato que tú tienes. No, siempre aparece mes, día. Yo, eh, yo creo, sí, yo, yo creo que eso, el... el yo sinceramente, eh, ahorita estoy como tratando de recordar. Y según yo recuerdo, lo he visto en ambas, en dos formatos. Puede ser primero el día y después el mes, o primero el mes o después el día. Puede aparecer de dos formas. Mm -hmm. Pero puede ser cualquiera de los dos. Es lo que yo entiendo, ¿verdad? Es what I understand. Y la manera que yo lo he visto. Sí, es que, es que esa duda me surgió desde una vez de que en Excel solamente reconoce mes y día. Pero Entiendo. si yo me pongo día al inicio y después el mes, no me reconoce la fecha cuando sí. estamos hablando de un Excel en inglés. Sí, sí, es como ya viene programado para, para funcionar de esa manera. Creo ah, que hay, hay por, por esa razón, pero según está investigando acá y según yo lo he visto, sí puede ir día, mes, año o puede ser mes, mes día, año también. Ok. En mi forma de pensar pueden ser las dos formas, cualquiera de las dos formas son válidas. Perfecto. Bueno, uh -huh. sí, esa quizás era la, la duda más, más aquí, ¿no? porque del inglés tengo, hay muchísimas, pero no alcanza el tiempo para consultar. Sí, pero en todo caso no dudes en escribirme un mensajito si tienes alguna duda y yo con gusto en su momento, tal vez no en... En el momento que me lo envíes, pero en su momento yo te respondo, aclarando cualquier duda, no hay ningún problema. No sientas pena, si, sientes, si tienes alguna duda, me escribes a mi número, no hay ningún problema. Ah, perfecto. Porque aquí yo sé que el tiempo no es suficiente a veces, ¿verdad? ¿Okay? No, y además de eso hay otra cantidad de tareas que uno tiene que cumplir y no solamente estamos ahí. Lo sé, Parece. lo sé. Cualquier duda... En un espacio que tengas, me escribes y yo igual te contesto en un espacio que tenga también. No hay ningún problema. No tengas pena okay. por eso. Ok. Perfecto, Tisha. Ok. Bueno. Ok, thank you very much. Thanks. All right, good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow.